Hi loves, it's Emmeline. So today I'm doing a fall routine. I feel like I haven't done one of these in so long. So first thing I do when I get home is obviously take off my coat, my purse, my shoes, and little Wilbur greets me. He's the cutest thing in the world. It's honestly the highlight of coming home is just seeing his little face and him running towards me. Oh, he's so cute and fluffy. I love him so much. Um, but I just got back home from grocery shopping because I found some yummy recipes on Pinterest that I wanted to try out and I thought that I would test them out for this video and show you guys how to make them. Wilbur is just so adorable. Oh my goodness. So now it's on time, on time, now it's time <laughs> to unpack the groceries. So um, I just got a few extra things that I needed for this recipe. So for today, we're gonna to be making some stuffed mushrooms, butternut squash pasta, and I'm also gonna be making some salad and a yummy drink at the end. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this all. I'm just washing my hands first to get ready. So since this is my perfect fall night, I wanted to prep the mood to make it feel even more like fall. So I do have a fireplace in my place, but it's a little bit too hot. So I just put on this fake fireplace. I think it's on like Amazon or Netflix. Um, and it's actually super relaxing and it's in a different language and it's just, it's very relaxing. So I'm just sauteing some garlic and onions. Um, and after a little bit, I added in the pepper to this. This is all for the stuffed mushrooms. So once that is done, I'm gonna add in some of the stuffing mix and then I'm adding in some veggie broth. So I'm just gonna mix this together and then last but not least, I'm gonna add in tomatoes and of course you guys can add any other types of seasoning or ingredients that you want into this but this is just what I'm doing. It's super simple, super easy. So now I'm just taking the baby portobello mushrooms and taking out the stems. And you guys can also chop up the stems and put it back into the mixture that we just made. Or you guys can save it for maybe your breakfast. I don't know, do something fun with it, don't throw it away. Um, so now I'm just stuffing the mushrooms. This recipe took me like maybe 20 minutes. It was so easy to make. So I'm just gonna pop these in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes or until they are done. So now we can move on to the butternut squash pasta. So I just sauteed some onions and garlic. Now I'm adding in butternut squash and adding in some more of the veggie broth. And I'm just gonna let this simmer until the butternut squash is tender. So once it is, I'm just putting this into my mixer. And basically I'm just gonna add in about a cup of milk and we're gonna blend this all up. Of course I used almond milk, but if you guys want, you guys can use any type of milk you want. Um, this is super simple, and I feel like you could actually have this as a soup too, because it tastes really good on its own. Um, but I just put it over top the pasta, and this is what the dinner looks like. And then I also made a side salad with some baby arugula, beets, apples, and walnuts. If you guys try out any of these recipes, be sure to let me know. I found these on Pinterest and kind of just adapted them to being more like vegan, vegetarian. Um, so I don't have like an exact recipe. I kind of just like eyeballed everything, but everything turned out super delicious. So after I'm done eating, I just wash my dishes and then I put them away. I hate when my house is messy. I hate when there's dishes anywhere. I like everything to be super clean because it just makes me feel very calm. So from there, I am just going to take a shower and get into some comfy clothes. So I just threw on a comfy flannel. I feel like it's the best thing to wear in the fall time. So now I'm gonna wash my face and I use the Paula's Choice face wash. I will link everything down below. Um, this stuff has seriously cleared my face and done amazing things for me. So I'm just taking some of the face wash and I'm putting it on my face dry. And I know this sounds really weird, but um, I was talking to a makeup artist and she recommended that you put it on your face dry because it doesn't dilute down um, all of the ingredients. And then obviously you wash it off with water and it actually has worked pretty well. So now I'm using the Paula's Choice Toner and I'm just going to pat this all over my face. So now I use the Paula's Choice Face Moisturizer and the Junk Elephant Marula Oil. I'm obsessed with this oil. I'm on my second bottle already. 
It is seriously a game changer. It makes your face so hydrated, especially when you wake up the next morning, your face will be glowing. And I just kind of like to give my face a little massage to stimulate um, the blood flow. And I just feel like it helps to make your face look a little bit better. So from there, I am going into my living room and I'm putting on a record. I feel like this is the perfect thing to do on a fall night because it's just so cozy and so relaxing. And of course, I chose a Frank Sinatra record because you guys know he is my favorite. So I know I get so many questions all the time about my record player and about the record stand. The record stand is from Urban Outfitters and the record player is vintage. If I can find the link to the stand, I will also add that down below. So it wouldn't be a fall night routine without lighting some candles. So I just lit all of these candles. I got these back at Ikea um, a little while ago and they were pretty inexpensive and I just think they look so pretty, especially like on a glass tray. It just makes the house feel so cozy and so relaxing. So I mentioned this in my last video, um, I got Wife After God, which is a devotional, and I got Husband After God for Connor. So basically they're Christian devotionals um, that correlate with each other. So each chapter for the husband one and the wife one is the same, and then they have questions. So it's good to read these and you guys can discuss it with each other. So. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, we're not married yet, but we are getting married soon. So we kind of just wanted like a pre-marriage devotional, but we couldn't find any. So we went with this one and we absolutely love it. After we each read the chapter, there's questions at the end. So then we'll call each other and talk about it and talk about the chapter. And I just think it's a really good way to open the conversation. If you guys are single and you guys are looking for a good devotional, I definitely recommend Jesus Calling. That's the one that I read before this and it was honestly life-changing. It just made me so happy every single day and I recommend it to everyone because it was so good and I think it's only like $14. Um, I can leave the link for that below if I can find it. So now I'm moving on to a drink. So I love warm apple cider. I feel like it's the best thing to drink. And if you guys are over 21, you guys can totally add the Caramel Smirnoff to it. And oh my goodness, it tastes so good. That's what I did for this one. So now I'm heading into my room and I love putting my um, essential oil diffuser on. So there's a candle setting on it and it looks like a candlelight. As you guys can see, it's like flickering. It is so relaxing. I love it so much. So I like to put that on and I have the citrus fresh in there because it smells so amazing and so fresh. So of course I have to watch a Halloween movie. Halloween Town is one of my favorite Halloween movies. I don't like scary movies because I'm a baby. If you guys don't like scary movies either, let me know. So I love watching all of like the fun Disney movies and it just puts me in the fall mood. So I usually let the oil diffuser go for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then after that, I like to bring Wilbur in so he can play and cuddle with me. He's just so cute. I keep saying this, but he honestly is just the cutest thing ever. I wish everyone could have a Wilbur. He's so sweet. So I'm just cuddling with him for a little bit and finishing up the movie. So once I feel myself getting tired, this is when I go to blow out my candles and I go brush my teeth and do everything I need to do to get ready for bed. And then I come back and I usually will just finish watching the movie and cuddle with Wilbur until we fall asleep. So that is my fall night routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want more routines, definitely let me know. I feel like I haven't done these in so long, so it feels so weird to be doing a voiceover. But I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys are all having a lovely day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!